name is Truman, and today I'm going to be interviewing Marty Figueroa. And before we start, I just want to tell you that uh, I'm taking, I'm, I'm interviewing you for my introduction to sport and performance psychology class. And I was wondering if I have your permission to record you for this interview. Yeah, you have my permission. Perfect. All right, so I'm just going to ask you just these quick couple questions. And I must, my first question I have to ask you is, tell me some things you love about your sport. Um, well, you first, were, hey, what sport did you play? And you played uh, baseball, baseball, correct? baseball, baseball. Ah, yeah. oh, sweet. All right. And so, what are some things you love about uh, baseball? Well, personally, I just love how like it's all just a mental game, and that you have to think a lot because when I think, I dip, I like do a lot better than I just like go free will with everything because it's okay. just a plan. You have to follow that plan in order to win. And it's everything, the way it works, everything has to be perfect about it because it's just a mental game. Nothing physical really about it unless you're like hitting or throwing the ball. It's just just a mental game. Your position, you play, you play, you do pitcher. Yeah. Would you say being pitcher that also has a lot of mental in it? Yeah, because you get to think about it. You think about every hitter, they hit differently. They think about hitting just everything's different. So you have to throw certain pitches at certain times. And if you just mess up just a little bit, it's just going to be a bad day in just general. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's good. That's good. And like your role, do you have like, does your team have specific roles like captains and things like that? Um, no, not really. It's just kind of depending on who you are, who you look up to. We don't really have captains per se. Just, some people like upperclassmen to look up to. It's just, no, no, nothing really. Okay. Well, well, thank you for answering that question. You're welcome. And here's another question. So think of a competition in which you performed well, and can you indicate how you mentally prepared for that event? Um, I think my last tournament, I, I, I think I did rather well since mm -hmm. the game that we're playing was like my first real Time was starting from our school. Oh, nice. And those, it it's like, yeah, it was a really big crowd. So I had to like mentally prepare myself in order like to kind of zone out from everybody else. So I didn't mess up. And I did rather well, actually. I got two hits. Oh, I did pretty, yeah, I did pretty good. No errors. I did really good. All right. So, and like, did you get, you had those first game jitters and stuff like that? Yeah. So like really bad. Feel that, yeah. That, I had to that always got me. Yeah, when I had to pitch, I was like, oh, I'm going to spike the ball. I'm going to throw it high. Like, I'm going to hit somebody. It was really yeah, bad. It's always good to think positive. Like, oh, I'm going to strike yeah. this boy out. That, that's, I've been told that. Like, you're the come in the game thinking you're the best player there is. Yeah, I like that mentality going into games. Yeah. And uh, what did you do specifically? What, what did you specifically think or say to yourself to get yourself to mentally ready to compete? Well, when I go into games, I just think, just go follow my mechanics because we've been tr we practice to do this every time. It's basically like a, like a practice. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. That's when I got on the field. I was like, it's just like a practice. Just there's more players. That's all it is. Yeah. Like to do it, your coach and stuff like that. Yeah, because if you don't, and you start doing everything else. You're just gonna get in trouble and mess up, and it's horrible. Mm -hmm. And you'll get yeah. benched, and it's not fun. Yeah. Well, thank you for answering that question. You're um, welcome. I, I got I have a couple more to ask. All right. So now think of a competition in which you performed poorly, and and how did you and how indicate can you indicate how you mentally prepared for the event, and like yeah. was it different between how you prepared before? Yeah. So I think. This was one game I played probably in the beginning of the year. And I don't know what it was, but I just couldn't do anything. Or like I'd get the ball, I I threw it, and I threw it out of the field. I'm not gonna lie. I I it happened like three times too. I was it was like a I think it was like a tournament finals or something. I was so nervous. I got the, I it was I think 
it was probably the reason we won every game. We first round by, I thought I was perfect. Like nothing was wrong with me. And I kind of just started slacking with everything. Mechanics were like off. It was, but I said like the first time when I did good, I just follow mechanics. I did not do that at all. So what would you say is what was more like a mental thing and how your thought process was going? Um, like was your head all over the place and you couldn't yeah, think I couldn't right? think straight. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you for answering that question. Yep. Uh, and describe any stress you experienced before or during that competition. Um, I think this, there was no stress before because, as I said, like we won every game. I think it was as I was making those errors and messing up, I started really getting to myself and I like ooh, just being it was a really stressful situation. So it kept And building on you. yeah, it just kept building up and up. Yeah. Yeah, that happens. And and how did you how did you deal with it? Like throughout Um the game, did, did you like what strategies do do would you say you used to combat that? To be honest, I just listen to music. Like I try to zone out from everything. I try to just like everything was behind me. Whatever happened then was then. I just try to get relaxed and back to the mental state I was before the game even started. I like music too, and that helps you calm down a lot. Yeah, Yeah, uh, who did you listen? Who do you like listening to? Like when you're in the before games and during games that gets you dialed in. Playboy Cardi. Playboy That's Cardi. my Okay. walk-up song, so Okay. Sweet. I have a whole playlist. Yeah. Do you like his new? You like his new his new projects? No, mm -mm, No. not at all. I listened to it yesterday. Worst thing ever. You like the older stuff. Yes. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. Downfall. Thank you for answering that question. And You're these welcome. are just uh, I got some additional questions. I Excuse All me. right. That's all right. Um, do you have a routine that helps prepare yourself for game day? Um. Probably stretching. Stretching is like the first thing I do. I make sure I'm loose. And I work on fundamentals. There's this little glove I have. It's like looks like a pancake. It kind of helps with fielding. I do that Okay. before I've seen one a of game. those before. Yeah. Yeah. They're expensive. Um, I just kind of work on that backhand with it like regularly, just forwards. I just kind of work with that. And I kind of work with hitting, just trying to. Make sure I get the knob to the ball and kind of following through. Just try to make sure everything's all right with my mechanics. Much. I don't really know baseball so much, so I don't really know too much about It's fine. that, but yeah. Sounds like a lot more than football. Football is just hitting somebody. I pulled a hamstring pitching, so I need to stretch. Interesting. Yeah. So you got to stretch for that, too. Yeah, because I'm very flexible once I'm stretched out and I need to be in order to get in the positions to throw the ball as far as I can. Okay. Well, like, what's like your uh, fastest pitch? Oh, it happened at the tournament too. Wait, wait. It was like 79, 78. I think it was like 78 point something. That's pretty fast. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty fast. Yeah, I definitely beat you in a game. Probably. Yeah, I'm not a good baseball player. I can do a wiffle ball. I can do that. Oh, wiffle ball is so fun. I'm pretty good at that. I'm horrible at it. Yeah. Um, and okay. Uh, uh, going into games, what would you rate your confidence on a scale of one to 10? Probably like an eight, cause or eight or not or eight or ten, depending if I've seen the team or not. Because if I've seen them and I know they're bad, I'm going in that game like, oh, I'm definitely the best player here. Yeah. But if I don't see them, if I've not seen them, like, all right, there's. probably a chance I am better than them, but just in case, let me like tone it down so I don't get too cocky and mess everything up. Because if you're too cocky, you get you slack, it's horrible. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I was about to ask a question. Go of uh, well, just for of uh, going over that one. We were uh, we were saying, like when you when you go against teams that you know aren't as good as your team, Mm. you, would you say you you perform not at a hundred percent, but more of like eighty percent because you know you're gonna win? Oh, no, that's like, when I know they're bad, I try as hard as I can because I'm trying to show off. It's it's confidence boost, honestly.
Good, yeah. I agree. Yeah, it's it's really fun when you go against a team that's not good and you do really good. It makes you feel like you're gonna be the best ever. You feel on top of the world after that game? Yes, I did it. Yeah, that's good. And and when when coming to the plate to bat, how do you prepare yourself? Because I see players in like the MLB, they do all these different things with their bats, or they do something with the dirt. Like what 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 what, uh, what do you do? Well, I have a bat weight, which I put on the bat to make the – I take it off, it makes me feel like I swing faster. So once I'm, like, looking at the pitcher, I start timing it up with the bat weight. If not, swing it a little bit faster than when the pitch would even get there so I can time it up properly. Oh, so then, yeah, when I walk up there to play my walk-up song, I get in, like, a zone. And then I always put a cross in the dirt because I'm religious. And I think if I put a cross, it will, like – Jesus will, like, give me some good luck. Yeah. Amen. Amen. It, it works. It works sometimes, I swear. He does And then, he does yeah, miracles. it does. And then when I see a pitch, I always, like, say either a fastball or something. And I always make – I always want to swing first pitch. I swear. It's a bad habit. Because Okay. when I see that pitch, I'm like, oh, this is it. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I, I'd probably swing at every ball that comes my way. Yeah, I try That's to swing for me. the fences. I try to hit it out. Well, how many home runs did you get uh, your last year playing baseball? Zero. Zero? We got any good hits that, like, touch I'm the not, bat I'm not, gate? huh? You got any hits where it touched the back gate? Oh, yeah, it happened Sunday, Saturday. That one got close. Bro, it was like right there. I was so mad. And then my teammate, he said, We need to swing harder next time. I'm like, That's as hard as I can swing. You got to put on some muscle, and then eventually I'm skinny. that I'm skinny. thing is going to get more power. Hopefully, bro. I'm really skinny. I need to put weight on. I mean, eat more food, lift some weights, and I've been doing that. that's good. That's good, yeah. And you're you're a freshman in high school now, right? Yeah. Basically, you're growing. You're growing. I'm Yeah. saying you're like 5'9 like now. Yeah, I'm far not. I've been that for like two years though. So Oh, I think and I'm me? done. <laughs> I think I'm done going. I mean, you're 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 still young. So I mean, you probably you can probably get you can probably get some more inches on you. I've not grown for like two years. I swear I've been the same height since like seventh grade. You might grow. You just might. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. It's mine. I got and I got one more question to ask. All right, all right. During games, what's running through your mind? Um, just trying to not make errors and mess up. Really, that's the only thing you have to really think about. Because really, other than that, you kind of just, it's like you're a robot. You're being told what to do. You kind of just do it. So there's not really much to it other than just doing what practice has been. Because that's the only reason you go to practice is to do those things like like a motor function. Like when you wave your hand or something, you know exactly what you're doing every time. That's about it. Yeah. Yeah. That's really good, yeah. So that you know, was all about questions I had to ask. All right. I'll say thank you very much for allowing me to interview you and record this whole conversation. You're welcome, you're welcome. I hope I get a good grade on this. So I do too. You're welcome. <laughs>